just anxious to see if we actually find him. I can hear you. We gotta get some pictures of yeah. you beside that. Put your rivet in, drop it all the way down. This is a bad place to come when you're hungry. How new is this place? Um, we've been open since Memorial Day. Sandwich is good though. I give you just as hard a time? Yeah. Uh, well, maybe. Yeah, it's Caught behind Venetian blinds. Very good. You got the Chipotle. Michelle's gonna back in today. Okay, now straighten it out. There's actually two pools. There was a bluegrass festival here. Well, that would have been a nice sight to have right there. Holy cow. They do, they look really clean. Yeah. has been a little excited about coming to the Pennsylvania area for another reason, for finding her great, great, great grandparents. And for some reason, mm -hmm. as I was working this morning at the computer, I googled find a grave and I came up with a bunch of sites to find and I just picked, I think it was like the second or third one down, put in his first name, last name, and then just put in Pennsylvania and boom, a whole list popped up. One right away, for some reason, popped out and was like, wow, those dates would match mm -hmm. up just perfectly as being your great-great-grandfather. Then I looked at the town and Googled where it was, and it was only like seven or eight miles from the town of Mooresville, which her mom had told her that that's where they were from. Mm -hmm. And we're like, holy cow. And that was the only one there. This must be him. It's got to <laughs> be him. So we did a little Google uh, search and street view and saw the cemetery and it had an old beautiful church there and we're like oh my gosh they likely went to this church too mm -hmm. and I wish Michelle luck if anything it's it's gonna be an adventure and it's a beautiful day Michelle and I are going to split up and she's going to go look in this section and I'm going to come over here and look through this whole section. Wish us luck. I can hear you in the silence. Something that really makes this difficult is some of these you can't even hardly read. Right, Michelle found a Haynes over there in 1881, an Adam Haynes. As you know, a lot of families bury themselves close to the other families. Like we've been seeing over here, a lot of Millers, Reinhardt's, a bunch of different names that that are all together. Well, we found another another Haynes, but uh, wrong name. I'm wondering if with this empty area right here, they may be buried here. So many we can't read. So they're worn off or they're tipped over and we can't lift them. Kind of disappointed. We did find Michelle's great, great, great grandparents. And they're just down the road in a place called... Shoemakersville. Shoemakersville. And I go, oh look, there's this little town called Shoemakersville because her great, great grandfather was a shoemaker. <laughs> and then we found this and I was like, well, what's the chances? And the tombstones are there of her great, great, great grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> if you get that, that's great. Just one great. Her great, great grandparents, we have figured out, are likely buried either here next to George Haynes. And we're thinking probably here. And then over there, Adam Haynes, there is a big empty area there also beside them. Right. We're so, going to try to look this over just right. a little bit more to be sure. And we don't know because I don't think they're directly related, like immediate family members. Immediate family. But it could be like cousins, cousins or something. Especially being uh, born around the same time. Right, yeah. It's very likely. Turn around and 
down the road it's only 3.6 miles away and it's a, another cemetery where we know there is the headstone of it would be Michelle's great 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 grandparents right so that'll be neat and uh, I'm sure her mom and uh, aunt would uh, enjoy seeing it as well yeah. as her cousins hopefully we can find it we, we know there's a pit I mean there's a picture online of it so we know there's a stone there we just should be able to find, to find it, it. picture of the headstone that looks like that and we're just gonna drive through here and kind of pick out the ones that are together like that and get out and look at them we found it this is Michelle's great 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 grandparents so I couldn't read this at all and so I got looking at it and I could see in the picture that it was marbled at the bottom, but I didn't, you couldn't see the bevel. So I looked at the picture, I zoomed in, and I saw the 17 down here at the bottom. And that 17, the aged there in the middle. And then I saw this on the left hand side, which is there. Saw this little tombstone in the back, which is there. saw this tombstone here that it is a you can see it's a y-e-a <laughs> came looking for your great great grandparents and found your great great great, great, great. we gotta get some pictures of yeah. you beside that your mom and should be excited to I wish we see could that. see the you names know? better that's kind of a shame we originally set out to look for my great great grandparents which last name is Haynes and so we found uh, and this would be on your mother's my father's mom's side. father's side and so um my great great grandfather benjamin haynes his wife uh her maiden name was a star so these are her parents mm -hmm. so my great 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 grandparents i can reach oh, you a star from a distance i can so beautiful I can hear you within the silence there he is John Starr great great grandpa great 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 grandpa yeah great 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 grandpa and I and he came over from Germany in like 1828 and again one of their children Rebecca is who my great great grandfather married much better There they are. Yay. I'll get that's a little better now. Thank you guys for coming along with us on this very special moment for Michelle and actually for me too. Because <laughs> this was very exciting. You just have to imagine, you know, how they lived back in the day in this area. They had some beautiful uh, scenery. Very, very pretty over here. We're hot and tired. <laughs> And about you, I'm just hot. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. We just left the Thousand Trails up here, Hershey Thousand Trails, and uh, it's just right up the road here on the corner. And as soon as you take a left out of the Thousand Trails and you come down here, they have a sign over there that says Pies Friday and Saturday. Well, you pull into this little drive here, and they got this set up, and they sell pies, tomatoes. And it's on the honor system. You gotta have cash and you stick it in here. Blueberry, cherry, peach. Oh boy. We were here yesterday and she got a pie. Maybe we shouldn't have pulled in here. I, I got oh. one of the shoe fly pies. I have to say I wasn't a fan. Yeah. That was the first time I tried that and mm. I tasted it too. Not a fan of that. But the cherry and the peach, I'm guessing you can't go wrong. Yeah. Blueberry they, pie. They got blueberry pie. Sticky buns with raisins. Everybody likes a sticky bun. Well, Airstreams, they tend to lose a rivet every once in a while. 
from moving and the flexing and that, it'll pop a rivet. Um, we haven't had a lot. We've only had one, two, three, I think we got five over the last 10 months. No big deal, especially when you consider the hundreds and hundreds of rivets this thing has. And they're all in this one area for some reason. But uh, maybe it has something to do with the door. I don't know. Opening and closing it. But anyway, I got a, uh, a rivet gun, a heavy duty riveter. This is one that was recommended to, by Vinny up at Vinny's North Bay Airstream Repair. And it uh, comes like this. It has this little tool. I just put it on here for now that you can take these off and, and put the right size on. It has a different hole here for the different size rivet. I got this off Amazon also. It comes in a bag of 100 aluminum blind rivets, number 4 to 6, 1 8 inch diameter by 3 8 inch grip. So as you can see... That's too big of a hole in those, and that's too small. This is the right size. So you stick them in like this, and I release the handle. It goes all the way down. Now, before we do this, when your rivets pop out, they'll leave some uh, a little bit on the back side. you got to make sure you drill it out. you got to be very careful because if you slip or something, you can also scrape the uh, your aluminum here. Same thing goes with your with your rivet gun. So uh, make sure you have the right size that goes in there. Don't drill the holes out any bigger. This is a 1 8 inch. Should have put something down for these metal shavings. So now with this fully out, because you don't want this compressed right yet, stick it up in there. And usually about the second time it'll pop. You gotta keep squeezing until it pops. And there we go. Now you release that, this other piece comes out. Basically just drill out the back side because it leaves a little uh, remnant in there from the previous rivet. Put your rivet in, drop it all the way down with it fully extended out. You squeeze the first time, it usually won't pop all the way back and the second time and hold that head still so when it pops you don't slip and scrape your aluminum here second time it pops and that's good it compresses it on the back side that rivet flattens out on the back side and that's what holds it together lot of food <laughs> and I like can't it. move. Start the fire. Awesome. Fire tonight? Yes. The amusement park is over there. We want to know where the chocolate is. I know. I think it's here. Here it is. Hey, I smell chocolate. I do too. Mm. All we can think of is our grandkids who come here like, what would they like? What would they like? This is a bad place to come when you're hungry and exactly. you're going to eat a lot of chocolate. Should we do the Hershey chocolate tour? Yeah. This is free. I need a seatbelt. <laughs> oh, you can't see can it. Can you see me? Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Hershey's Chocolate Factory Tour. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. We're on our way to the Hershey Chocolate Factory. It's delicious and distinctive taste. We pasteurize and condense the sweet milk and then blend in the perfect amount of unsweet chocolate. We haven't eaten supper, but... 
Is there anything against eating your birthday cake first? <laughs> Got a little area called Chocolate Town. Chocolatier, restaurant, bar, and patio. And then Hershey Park here, an amusement park. Well, I guess this uh, restaurant's new. So, Chocolatier, we're gonna give it a try. I think. Maybe. 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 You know they have desserts. It's Hershey. Did you say chocolate drizzled chip? That's what it said. It comes with. All right. How bad can that be? She read they have gluten-free buns. Here we, we're gonna try this. A little pricey. Wow, do you have to be dressed up? But up it's your birthday. It's my birthday. Because I don't give up. Ooh, this place is kind of neat. Very cool. Hi. Oh, my legs. Hi. Right. How new is this place? Um, we've been open since Memorial Day. Since oh, Memorial Day. Yeah, that weekend we opened up. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. I want to sit at the merry-go-round bar and have a merry-go-round margarita. I want the merry-go-round. I'm going to the merry-go-round bar. I love it when bars have hooks for purses. Oh, yeah. I want to ride a horsey. <laughs> All right, here's their one side of their menu just to give you an idea. They do have gluten-free buns for $1.95 extra. It's one of those gluten-free buns that falls apart. Sandwich is good. Pretty good. Eight or eight and a half. We did. Eight. Well, this is uh, Sunday, September nineteenth. This is the last day of the Hershey RV show, but we're taking off. We're going to head to Chesapeake Bay. We're going to go to a thousand trails in Chesapeake Bay. We're trying to hook up our T-Mobile. I can't talk. We're trying to hook up our T-Mobile and our um, AT&T here. So that, uh, you can uh, check those along with our Verizon. While we're driving, I like to just test speeds all over the country just to see how each of them perform as we're traveling but uh, we're kind of excited there's a lot of history that we want to see it's weird the older you get the more interesting um the history gets did you notice that i just thought interesting sometimes in the mornings i just cannot talk too funny so we're just about ready to go michelle's about done prettying up and uh i was going to use some of that uh Happy Camper Extreme. If you haven't heard of that before, it's really good at cleaning your tank. Um, but I don't have enough time right now to get that done. You have to rinse your tank really good. You're supposed to. And then you got to put a bunch of hot water in it. We'll go over that when we do do it. And uh, I'll uh, let you know how that works out uh, for the Airstream. But anyway, we're going to get uh, all hooked up here and get moving. We're kind of hoping that we can get there early enough that we can still do something today. There's uh, Jamestown. Uh, there, there's a lot to do around that area. Virginia Beach. Okay. There's a lot to do. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I thought that was you. Look just like you. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Anyway. You're I think we're about. I know. It's cool out and I'm... Still sweating. Uh, we're all set up. We're ready to get out of here. I, I I couldn't do it again. I just couldn't do it. I know my limits. You give me just a harder time, right? I give you just as hard a time. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe. Yeah, it's per well, it's probably like 60-40? Yeah. yeah okay. you're, the, you're the sixty. Yeah. I d wait. No, no. Okay. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Caught behind the nation blinds How to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Ain't looking me more than what I've become I've been running east Looking for something What I 
thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges all I know I got lost along the way We went a little further and ended up saving, what was it, about 40 cents. Yeah, yeah, exactly, 40 cents a gallon by going a little further down the road. And we had just about a quarter, a little under a quarter tank left. So it ended up saving us some money. Haven't figured out how much, but we're really exhausted today from <laughs> this <you> whole tell? <laughs> week. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this looks like fun, cross traffic. Yeah, you sure you want to drive? Yeah. Okay. Sure you want to drive? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did, did I ask if you're sure you want to drive? Yeah, I oh. do. You do? Okay. bologna it's kind of a thing in pennsylvania michelle tried it one day it was good we usually do our meat wraps when we're trying to eat low carb do it with cheese and red light camera ahead cheese as the bread <laughs> whatever you eat the sweet bologna it is actually pretty good it's very good you got the chipotle mm -hmm. sweet bologna mm -hmm. is it spicy mm -mm. not at all nope very good Maybe we can find some here in uh, One Virginia more. or something. Maybe. That's it. We just want to talk about our bologna. <laughs> test through here in this area of Virginia. T-Mobile 11.3 is a download, 10.2 is an upload. Again, T-Mobile's upload is pretty even with its download. AT&T is a 34.5 for a download, but its upload is only a 0 0.14. Verizon had a 29.1 download and only a 1.85 upload. So even though Verizon and AT&T's downloads are really good uh, their uploads not so good so I mean T-Mobile would be the best thing to do here in this area for like a, a zoom meeting this Michelle's gonna back in today it should should work pretty good have me <laughs> let's just hope coach her in you need to kind of steer yourself when you're backing in and then you start to realize what needs to be done when you're backing in and that'll mm -hmm. help you give better instructions when you're back there just a little bit more okay so right there I say what you're wanting is you're back in closer to the end and the reason why you're over there so when you start turning your wheel to the left and you're pulling in here mm -hmm. the truck's going to start going over to the other side it gives you more room if you started over on your right and did that 
you wouldn't have any room over there right. when you start to turn. And there's so, a, okay, so now turn your wheel to the right. Put it in reverse. And there's a pickup over here. You, you know that? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Turn your wheel to the right. Okay, not too much. That's about right. Start easing it. Go ahead and go start backing up. Okay, turn your wheel more to the right. Okay, come back. Okay, now wait. Turn your wheel to the left. Come back, about right there. Okay. Alright. Um, turn your wheel to the right. Now come back. Turn your wheel more to the right. Okay, keep coming back and then start to turn your wheel to the left. Okay, now, bring it to the left. Straighten it out. How's the tree? It's good. I'm looking. Okay. There you go. Stop. Well, we got here and we're parked, guess where? <laughs> right in front of the ice cream <laughs> their little country store has hershey ice cream it's supposed to be really good and of course we had to have some today i was gonna say supposed to be yeah chesapeake bay it's a thousand trails campground near gloucester virginia there it is there's the pionka tank river oh hey Hi. how you doing we're just uh, cruising around this park for our first time. Nice so, boat dock out there. Yeah. That is actually the river over there. Oh, the Piana Tank River? Uh-huh. Bianca Tank, I know. Basketball hoops look fairly, fairly new. The hoops in the court. Nice pool. There's actually two pools. Like this one and then one right next to it. Nice pickleball courts. site that we were in there was a bluegrass festival here and it had reserved on it up until today's date so they just just left they must have had like a tent there or the bands there on the corner but we just missed out on that that would have been kind of fun I know yeah these are pretty sites too Okay, this is what they call the grass beach. Well, that would have been a nice sight to have right there. Holy cow. Beautiful view. No kidding. How lucky are they? Like the laundry's well, two dollar for a dry, two dollar, and two dollar, and two dollar for a wash. Speed queens look fairly clean. They do. They look really clean. Huh? They got a big front load down here. It's three fifty. Let's take a look in there. It's a very friendly park. It is. Everybody's we're waving. Like, we're liking it already. Yeah. We should take a picture. Go ahead, Michelle. Go stand by the ice cream cone. Yeah. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click that little bell and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.